Did you know Lubbock, Texas is the 11th largest city here in Texas? And it's also the 84th largest city in the whole United States. It has a population growth of almost 1% per year. And since 2010, it has grown by 15% in its overall population. With all this growth and more and more people moving to Lubbock, there's bound to be mistakes during this moving process. So in this video, we're just gonna cover five quick tips that will make that moving process a lot easier, not only if you're moving to Lubbock, but really anywhere else. I'm Nate Toffner with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate here in Lubbock, Texas, and let's get started. Number one, not consolidating your home. What do I mean by this? Well, are you really going to overpack and bring items that you really don't need to your new home? I mean, really 10 iPhone chargers instead of two, maybe 10 toasters instead of the one you only need. This is going to hurt you on two fronts. One, you're moving costs because it's going to just cost a lot more to move more items. And number two, time. Time as in packing. You're going to spend more and more time packing up useless items that you could have easily, easily just set aside or donated. Number two, procrastinating. We're all guilty of it. You could be guilty of it right now by binging videos on YouTube like this one. Have a list. Know what you are supposed to be doing to make your move easier, what boxes to pack, and when you are going to pack those boxes. You don't want a super, super long list that's just going to overwhelm you and you're gonna hold off to the last minute. So make sure that the items that you are including on your moving checklist are important. I know it's a simple thing, but it is so important. So be sure to put those time sensitive tasks at the very, very top, the ones you're gonna tackle first. Number three, not labeling boxes. I have fallen into this trap before. I have been searching and searching for plates and ended up opening bedding. Labeling your boxes is super important if you want to get moved into your home. It's going to take a little bit more time on the front end, but it's going to save a lot more time on the actual move in. A little trick for this is actually using color coordinated tape. So you're going to use say a red packing tape for the kitchen. So you know that all of your kitchen items are in that box with the red packing tape. Another thing you can do are QR codes. Simply you go online, you type in a little list of what's in a box, print off a QR code for that, tape it on the box, and once you get to your new home, you can scan it and see exactly what is in that box. Number four, waiting way too long to forward mail and transfer utilities. These two items can be pretty time consuming, but it's gonna save you a lot of headache on the back end. So for mail, you're going to do a change of address form a couple of weeks before you actually move into your new home. You'll also indicate when your move in date is, so all your mail won't get sent to your old home. Instead, you will get all that lovely spam mail at your new home. For utilities, you're going to just call those utility companies that service your new home and indicate, okay, this is when I am moving in and I need these utilities transferred into my name. They'll probably have you set up an account with all the information they need, but this ensures that you have the water, electricity, heating and cooling, gas, whatever you need on that moving day. Number five. This is something that really gets overlooked and a lot of people don't think about it. And that's moving insurance. Yeah, there's actually insurance for moving and it might be beneficial to look into, especially if you're moving, you know, a whole bunch of valuables or it's a long distance between point A and point B. Getting moving insurance ensures that your possessions are covered and protected. So, might look into it if you have some pretty valuable items or items that are just very, very special to you. I know this was quick and maybe a couple of the tips were a little bit obvious, but I hope there was one that you can utilize in making your move a lot easier. I'm Nate Toffner with Better Homes and Gardens Real Estate here in Lubbock, Texas, 
and we'll catch you on the next one. Before you leave, I just wanna thank you so much for watching this video. And if you haven't already, please like the video as well. It really helps us out through the algorithm and showing the video to people that would find it valuable as well. And if you haven't already, go over to the channel, click that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll know each and every time a new video is put up. Thank you so much and we'll catch you on the next one.